In this video, we're gonna be talking about why to never buy a house all in cash. And those reasons, they might just surprise you. Hey, it's Jeff Chubb. I'm a retired investment banker turned real estate agent. I've sold more than a thousand houses and I'm here to help you with any real estate questions, but I'm also here with... I'm Sam Eliopoulos. I'm one of the top 300 loan officers in the United States and I'm with Guaranteed Rate. All right, Sammy. So I'm thinking you might be a little biased on this one. <laughs> ha, yeah, I could say some of that, uh, but let's stick with the facts and keep in mind that everybody's situation will be the same and call for some blanket advice. Fair enough. Okay. So the first one has to do with the tax benefits of getting a mortgage. Exactly. Uh, when you have a mortgage, you're able to save some money in taxes by writing off any interest you pay through the life of the loan. Yes, this is an amazing benefit. There's no other investment out there where the tax laws allows you to actually do this. If you're buying a house in cash, but then have a car loan or maybe a credit card balance, then you might be doing it wrong. Yeah, this is the reason that some of the wealthiest clients carry mortgages. The second reason is that paying all cash may not make sense is that it can actually decrease your return on your investment. Exactly. By leveraging the money, uh, it may allow you to do more home improvements on the property that would increase your property's value or even allow you to buy an additional investment property. Exactly. I also always like pointing out that whether you put 3% down, 20% down, or actually pay all cash, then that property, it's going to appreciate the exactly exact same. So if you have a $500,000 house that appreciates 3% a year in say year one, that's a $15,000 return. If you put 3% down on that house, then your return on investment, well, it's 100% at that point. But if you put 20% down in order to buy that house, then that same return on year one is 3%. Yeah, that's a really fabulous, uh, great point. You know, I, I'm a really big fan. I love using myself as an example. So I'm going to give you this one. On my first house, I paid $215,000 and I put 3.5% down. My cost to get into that house was $7,525. Today, that $215,000 house is worth seven hundred fifty dollars So that's a $535,000 return on my investment. This means that I have made a 71 times return on my investment in the last 15 years from that original $7,500 down payment. Well, the third reason that the buy all cash should be the opportunity cost of not being able to do home improvements and make additional investments in other areas. Exactly, I believe there's a saying, right? Uh, don't put all of your eggs in one basket. I think that's how that one goes. Yeah, exactly. Um, this allows you to diversify your investment portfolio. While neither of us are investment advisors, uh, we are familiar with the advantages to having a diversified portfolio. Which, by the way, I'm a real estate guy. I own stocks and bonds. I have a diversified portfolio. This means that by not having all or a significant portion of your net worth tied into your home, that you can actually invest in other assets like those stocks and bonds while getting the exact same return that you would have gotten either way on that house. Plus, things like stocks and bonds are more liquid assets for you to draw on in case of an emergency. Yeah, no, you're 100% right. Well, Sammy, I think we did it. These are the three good reasons as to why to not buy a house all cash. And I, I think it's important to remember that not everyone's situations are exactly the same and there is no blanket answer to this question. That's why we invite you to reach out to us with any questions that you might have. The big part is for you to know that we're always here for you. It, but if you're looking to buy or refinance a home, then Sammy, he can definitely help you out. He works for the number two lender in the country and is one of their top 10 mortgage bankers. And if you think about making a move, then be sure to reach out to this guy. He's one of the top agents in the States and will certainly take great care of you. All of our contact information, it's in the description below. You can also reach us by going to youtuberealestateagent.com, fill out a couple answers, there's a couple questions, and then we're gonna reach out to you. So uh, until next time.